Hello and welcome back to Judventures. It's Darren and Henry here today. Hello! And we are here at Stockeld Park for their winter adventure. Now this Grade 1 listed property is an absolutely stunning place to come, especially at winter. They've got plenty to do here today, so first of all we're booked into the Playhive, which is the largest indoor play area in Europe. We've got a grotto experience with Santa himself. We're going to take a look around the shop and see what goodies that they have available in there. There is ice skating, which we're not going to do today. Um, we have the winter illuminations through the enchanted forest with a wonderful light show at the end. Um, there is really a lot to do. So we're going to get off into the play hive. You, when you come in, you get your entry wristband and then you also get an entry to the Playhive wristband. I think next year a good idea would be to put those both on the same wristband stock held just so we don't look like an inpatient in the hospital. Uh, but yeah I'm very excited to be here today. It's the first day of the winter adventure so we're expecting big things. Are you excited? I'm excited. It is the um I don't know, is it the third, fourth time we've been to Winter this, Illumination? So this is the third time we've been to the Winter Illuminations, time, right. the second time we've done a vlog here, I promise. This year's is going to be a lot more stable footage because than last year's shakier to, footage. Yeah. Um, and then we've been here a couple of times for some other events, but yeah, our third winter event and we're very excited. Christmas starts today, so let's go inside and take a look at everything there is to see. So here we are inside the Playhive, which is, what's this, is it Europe's largest indoor play area? We have a whole area being spaced things. There's huge walkways above. It's all, I say it every time when I come in here, but it's all incredibly well built. Looking at the huge twisting slides, we've got the uh, air traffic control tower, we've got helicopters built out of woods, planes, jungle areas, and tons of stuff to do for active kids. So, this is something that I highly suggest that you do to your child before they've eaten. So, um, last year, Daddy spun me absolutely crazy speed on this and I got really dizzy. So, I hope we don't do the same speed. <laughs> Yeah, crazy speed you guess, doesn't it? On these ones over here that have the chains, you can get an even faster speed. You flying a plane? Yeah. It was the carpenters that did this place. I've got some uh, some talent, I tell you. You did, well done dude. So we've actually just stopped for some food, haven't we? Yeah. 
and they give you this handy little clear hive uh, buzzer which is locked to your order and when your food's ready the little buzzer goes off for you to go and collect so you can go get your seats no waiting around it's quite a unique good little idea isn't it so we've ordered some uh, sausage and mash and a pizza and we're going to check it out when it gets here and there we go food mate is ready those well, foods arrived haven't it yep and it arrived in literally well not arrived the buzzer went off for us to collect it in what three minutes extremely quick the because they've got such a high turnover of people it was um they just must knock the food out and when your order comes up it's up but henry got the sausage and mash which is actually quite a decent portion there that's 6.95 and i got for 12.95 Pepperoni pizza, which has been stolen already. And what trip to Stockholm Park could be complete without visiting the gift shop? Christmas photo ops than last year, aren't they, mate? Well, obviously, with the um, with the Gringe mass that they're doing this year, they've gone heavy on the Gringe products this year. It's Gringe, but where is it? Ooh, got lots of stuff. What have we got? We've got Gringe tennis, Gringe peel and reveals, some hot chocolate. Little activity sets, a giant Gringe cracker. Oh, we got a little stretchy Gringe, and even some Gringe water bottles. It's quite a lot of stuff, more than I'd expect to be here. And then obviously, we've got the Gringe himself just hanging down from the top. But then, another IP that seems to be heavily involved in this year is Elf on a Shelf. So, becoming more and more popular every year. Incredibly diversive. Lots of people don't really like Elf on a Shelf. Some people do love. Even cheeky little Elf on a Shelf. Let's turn the Christmas tree upside down. Lots and lots of different Elf on a Shelves. It's becoming very multicultured. It's nice to see everyone's being included. Bit of diversity. And then obviously we've got the. Uh, oh, look at these, buddy. We've got some little Christmas plushies down here, but we've got a little Yule Log plushie. That would make an ideal gift for your mum. Oh my, it's a Swiss roll, Dad. Yeah, man. How much? It's not a log. Um, it doesn't... No. Uh, it's 24 24 That's a little bit expensive. That, for a, a Yule Log plushie, that it's is a, a bit Swiss on the, uh, the pricey side. It's a chocolate Swiss roll. I love them. How much are these? So we got tiny little um, snowballs. <laughs> This is, um, this is the coolest. Eleven ninety nine. For that thing. They're that's definitely. Uh, that's a cloud. Pricing out the. Uh, pricing out the average customer there. Oh, ties. Oh, and you do like your uh, your tie gifts as well, don't you? Yeah, I love this. It's a giant seal. Yeah, I love it. His name is. His name is Icy. I love that. Okay. See, should you want to as well, you can post your own letter to Santa in these North Pole post boxes to send your letter to the big man himself. Tell him just what you want this year. So, just over this side of the park, usually where the, uh, the go-kart area is just down here. <clears throat> to the right, we now have the purpose-built Santa's Grotto area which we're going to go into in a little bit after we've been to see 
the Gringy Locks and the Three Bears. And just if you think, oh look, Stockeld have built a new lake. They haven't. It's actually the bouncy pillow looks to be down for maintenance. Give it a clean up. Probably refresh any uh, punctures and etc. over the winter season. But with the weather we've been having here in Yorkshire recently, we have a purpose built new lake, don't we? Yeah. And obviously, currently we're in, just waiting for the Gringy Locks to start. We're in one of the five excellent play areas that they have here at Stockeld. It's a shame that the go-karting's not actually open today, but a lot of things like this do tend to close when it gets to the winter. Brand new since the last time we've come as well, looks to be the Stockeld train station. So just here, where the little skiing, um, you saw the, the dry skiing started previously. They now have this, um, what looks like a Stockeld Express. It's obviously uh, driven by sort of motors rather than uh, the actual steam engine. But I'll show you a better view of the engine when we go past to the Santa's Grotto. But what a unique little uh, thing to have here. And I think it looks ace, doesn't it? Yeah. I love a good, a good steam train station. I love train. I love uh, steam trains. You do. They're ace, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so we've just met meeting we've just met elf from elf on the shelf haven't we yeah and very funny obviously the uh, the guy knows what he's doing but very um not well organized if you will i don't know whether it's supposed to be um specifically for photos or he's just wandering around um is he uh, only for this weekend um but people just throwing the children at him um, there was no form of queuing system, um, you know, it were, you could tell there were some children getting quite upset because they'd waited patiently but then others would throw the kids just straight in front. Um, not, not fantastic that but eventually we, uh, we patiently waited and got in there didn't we? Yeah. Um, and you got a nice photo. Uh, but definitely I do think there needs to be some sort of better queuing system for that, uh, that photo shoot or photo op with Elf or whoever it is next year because that uh, that was quite frustrating to watch let alone for the, the poor little children that were just trying to get a photo. Super bright camera lights. Feel famous. Look at this boy. -o. Yeah. So we've not actually finished yet, but uh, the convenience of Stockeld Park is that the entrance is directly on the car park. It's only like a two minute walk and having these wristbands means that you can come and go as you please once you've done your entry time for the day. So we've bought a couple of Christmas gifts. Um, we've come back to the car just to pop them in the car but it also means we can have a little sit down 
in somewhere that's not freezing cold just while we wait for our time to meet Santa and then go around the main reason for being here today which is the Winter Enchanted Forest Light Trail which we're very excited about. Have you had a good day so far today? Yeah. Yeah. It's been uh, been very good but it is a, a tiring day especially with all of the things that they've got here um, are all different time they're all timed and if you don't organize it perfectly you can find yourself with big patches of time in between what you're doing especially seeing as the likelihood is you're going to want to wait until the evening until it gets dark before you go on the light trail so we've organized pretty well we did the play hive which was brilliant um straight away had us dinner afterwards we had about 20 minutes to spare before we then went to watch the gringy lock show which was very very good for the little ones wasn't it yeah yeah i mean uh, as an adult it is just pantomime pantomime and theater is not something that i'm into at all uh, but obviously for the kids it was a nice 30 minute show something to break up the day have a little bit of a sit down and it was done quite well um and then we find ourselves with a bit of a 50 minute uh, 50 minute gap before we have to go meet santa and then walk around the light trail so back to the car a little bit of a chill out and then when we go back in we'll take you with us we're heading back in now to do the uh to do santa and to walk around the enchanted forest at night what i do find amusing and really strange every time it happens is i've said this on a couple of previous videos we do these vlogs and we know a few people watch them but we by no means think that we're famous at all um so when people sort of recognize you and stuff like that it's it's really strange uh, people recognize you it's really strange and we were inside the play hive earlier and i was just with henry whilst we were on the uh the helicopter and as you sort of scanning around the room, I clocked uh, a little gent next to Henry who was watching Judd Ventures on his phone. And I would believe that's uh, the lad that has commented and subscribed to our channel. So uh, just for you, Freddie, thank you and welcome to the channel. What do we say to Freddie? Thank you. Thanks, Freddie. The great thing about the uh, play areas as well is, as you can see, five o'clock at night, it's really dark outside, but they're uh, completely and utterly floodlit. So, really, 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 really well lit. No chance of any accidents, no chance of losing any kids, which I'm told is a bonus. So, as promised, here is the new train. I don't think it's quite open yet. It's called the Flying. It's, what is what, it? it's called the Flying Stocksman. The Flying Stocksman. We love a good cheesy play on words. York, uh, York Maze. He's brilliant for some cheesy, cheesy wordplay. But here at Stockhelp Park, it seems they are as well too. Quite looking forward to this coming out. It's a cool little effect when we're walking down here. I like it. It's very Christmassy. Some cool, cool lights just to come down to see something, isn't it? And now, to partake in the best British pastime of all, the infamous queue. Grotto experience this way. It's a big old grotto. I think Santa's getting a bit of a diva after all these years of people adoring him. Not a little wooden cottage anymore. He's living in the Eden Project. Oh look Henry! I'm trying to get that spider. Wow, this is a lot better than we thought it would be. Is the fox watching some tell it? Ooh. Is that Christmassy or slightly Halloweeny? Ooh. 
Christmas wishes. I'm, uh, I'm really quite surprised at the theming inside here. Is it real? That must mean that it's real. like some dirty guy off, you know, TV in the 80s. He's been fantastic. Oh, there you are. So you've been fantastic. Do you know what you want for Christmas, Eddie? Um, no? Her. Okay. Good, good, good time to not know. Are yeah. you going to go see Santa? Yeah. Are you going to tell him something? A little bit of something. Some Have you got bit. your bell? Oh, well, at least you can shake your bell at him, can't you? Yeah? yeah. Excellent. Well, stay good, and I'll see you on Christmas Eve. Okay. All right, then. Bye. See you Bye. later. Bye. What the Hi. hell? Hi. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? That was a bit crazy, wasn't it? How did it, how did it know my name? I don't know. Shana. It's Rudolph. It's magical, isn't it? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. You're yeah, from that's a different list, aren't you? Oh, so it's gone from like that to like that. Yeah. Yeah. So once the final one goes, there's no change in your mind. Yeah? You've got to settle on one list. Yeah? Should we see your Santa then? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Hello Santa. Hello. Come to see me now. Hello there. Nice to see you after the sit down. You can sit with me. First of all, what's your name? Henry. Henry. And and, and how, how how old are you now? Uh, it's less than two weeks till I'm ten. You're nearly so you're nine. Yeah. Nearly ten. Yeah. And are you going to tell me uh, what would you like for Christmas? Lego trains. Lego train. The Lego is still popular, isn't it? Anything else you like apart from Lego? Pokemon cards. Pokemon. I love That's good. Pokemon cards. Different toys and games. Yeah. And do you like sweets and chocolate? Yeah. And maybe some surprises. Well, how have you been, you little boy? Yeah. 
do with it as, as if you know good God. Most no, definitely. Yeah. 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 Shall we give you a little present to be doing? You got a bell. You want to trade the bell for a present? So put the bell in the bucket and take a present from the basket. Sit down again. Uh, do you want to look at the camera for a And maybe, maybe a little drink for me. Milk. Oh, I can see what drink have you got for me? A drink of milk, do you think, this year? Chocolate milk. Oh, oh chocolate milk. You are spoiling me now, aren't you? Are you going to come and see me again next year? Yes, I think so. I'll look forward to seeing you both next year. So then have a nice rest of the day. What are you going to do next in the park? We're going to go around the Enchanted Forest. Oh, Enchanted Forest. And what have you liked today best so far, apart from meeting me, of course, because that's the thing that's uh, What else have you done so far? Did you see Mrs. Christmas? Yes. And you saw Rudolph, and you saw the things in the dome. Yeah. And what was your favourite? Uh, figuring out how, if I've been nice or not. Oh, and well, how did that work out for you? Nice. Did you, get, did you do on well there getting an elf name? Um, Winky Dinky. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Yeah. Alright. Well, thank you for coming to see me. We'll see you both next year. So Definitely. Bye -bye. And Perfect. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you too, Santa. Nice to see you. Bye bye. Oh, high five. Bye. Wow, so we've met Santa. And to give you a present, now a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then straight out to this nice, uh, nice Christmassy light area. So we've just done the Santa experience, and I have to say, although Henry's growing up somewhat now past the the Santa stage, it was a really good experience, wasn't it, Matt? Yes. The dome itself is really well themed on the inside. We've got gingerbread houses, tailored houses, um, all sorts in there. It was really, really well themed. Um, the technology that they're using there were really good as well. They had a, an animatronic Rudolph with a camera hidden behind him, so the um, the chil well, basically the younger children who didn't notice the camera, um, they could respond via microphone. Um, so it gave the impression he was talking directly to them rather than just having some uh, pre-wrote sort of writing in there. Um, it was really good. I think the only thing uh, for us that was quite um, difficult was the queue. I mean, the last time I queued that long was to get on Nemesis when it were open. Um, we're talking about a good 45 minutes in the queue before we actually got to Santa and that's 45 minutes after we've got a timed slot for it as well. So that's a bit too long in my opinion for people to be um, waiting. Although, given what they had done with all of the set pieces and the animatronics, the different areas that you could go around before you got there, um, I think the weight was a lot more bearable than it would have been had there not been all that. But yeah, I think for the money, that's one of the better Santa experiences that we've uh, we've ever done. So you can take your own photos when you're in there as well, um, but they do give you uh, a professional photo while you're in there as well. That obviously is at an extra up charge. Um, we took our camera with us so we didn't really have a need for that uh, but just be aware that when you do come not absolutely everything is included in the price of the day here the extra photo that will cost you a bit more money if you want to go ice skating that's an upcharge as well um, the play hive that we went into was an upcharge on the gold ticket we purchased as well so there are additional costs and lunch and stuff as well but all in all for uh, Santa's Grow experience that was pretty damn good and I'd highly recommend it. So we've just opened our present from Santa as is tradition now we don't wait till Christmas day to have the presents that we get directly from Santa himself do we? And what have you got? I have got a fox. A plushy fox now for me that is a really good present so we've just said how great the experience is when you go inside there but then to get this as a gift at the end of it as well I think that's well worth the money, don't you? Fantastic, uh, fantastic gift for the cost of the day itself I think it was around, I want to say £70 for two of us but that includes entry, it includes the play hive up charge it includes Santa's Grotto um, just about everything apart from the ice skating the Gringy Lock show um, so for around £30, £35 each 
I think that's quite a steal, don't you? Yep. Really good. So we're just having a little yep. sit down now, and then we're just about to go into the enchanted forest before going home, aren't we? Yeah. You're feeling it, aren't you, mate? You're a little tired. Into the enchanted forest. This is another one of the five um, play areas that they have here, adventure playgrounds. It's clear! Yeah. 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 Stock is hard. A few Pegasus. Over here is the uh, famous musical lights. Go on, so you play some music. And they react to you playing, don't they? That's the big bookworm. Here! <laughs> Rapunzel's Tower. Asking hey, you. for her. Yes? Yes, you. Me? Would you rescue me from the tower? If I could get up there, I would. Has anyone seen the prince? Here. I could really do with the prince right now. I'm here. I think she's ignoring me. <laughs> now this is one of the most beautiful things that I think there is at Stockholm Park. These are stunning. Cinderella's pumpkin in there. It looks nice.
<laughs> that would have been kicked low, wouldn't it? Sounds like me. Another one of the very many adventure playgrounds at um, Stockheld. So if you want to knacker your kids out before you take them home, it's an ideal place to come. And another one, or at least a teacup and saucer slide. Get dad on you? Yeah, that's what get I'll get my dad, and I bet my dad's bigger than your dad. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that We're going through again, aren't we, Max? It's so, uh, yeah. so cool. Yeah. Probably don't get the effect this way around. Oh, camera attack. Ow. Come Nathan! Come Daniel! Well! Oh, one twonked me in head!
very nice. I love that effect with the mirrors and lights, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Right, so that is us done today for Stockheld Park's Christmas Adventure 2023. And it's been a really, really good day. Uh, Henry's asked not to be on camera at the moment. He's a little bit overwhelmed. If anyone has ADHD or ASD or has children with them, you will fully understand. He's had such a wonderful day today, but feeling all of those emotions gets a bit overwhelming for people on the spectrum. I completely understand because I have ADHD and it overwhelms me as well. Obviously, I am an adult. I'm a lot more apt at dealing with it, but Henry's not, so he's asked not to be filmed. But I can assure you, he's had an absolutely wonderful day. It is a fantastic day for kids. I've really loved it as an adult. The This year, even though... I can't think of anything that is specifically much different than last year. Just seems a lot, lot better. Extremely well executed. The Santa experience, as I've already said, was one of the best Santa experiences we've been to. The gift that Henry got was fantastic. Um, the actual walkthrough and the zone that he was in was really, really good. I can't fault it at all. Um, the walking through the Enchanted Forest with all the Christmas lights, once again, absolutely brilliant. I think it did us a favour waiting a bit later today to go through because it was slightly less crowded. There was still crowds at some points, but um, for example, going through the Infinity Light Tunnel, um, there was maybe 20 people in there as opposed to last year where there was around 100. Um, so it was a lot more relaxed and a lot nicer. Some of the new effects that are in there are really good. The train that they've got, which is coming soon, that looks really, really nice. Um, food on point as always. The Play Hive, largest indoor play area in Europe. That's fantastic. The decorations are great. Um, goal, golly locks, gringy locks, grinchy locks, and the three elves was a good little show to pass the time. I really can't fault what Stockheld Park has done this year and when the prices are as low as they are, obviously it's going to add up if you have multiple children but for us we've just got the one. Um, but I think for what you get it was quite a steal. Um, so yeah, I highly suggest that you come down to Stockheld Park. Um, today was the opening night, there's plenty of nights left to come. If you've liked this and you'd like to follow us on more Christmas adventures this year and our other adventures at theme parks throughout the year, then please give us a like, give us a subscribe, um, ring that notification bell to be notified when our next videos are up and we'll see you on the next one. Good night.